After searching online for a rotary converter for my 15 horsepower Fidal milling machine, I chose the American Rotary 8020. It was reasonably priced, came from a well-known brand, and offered some support. Since I wouldn't be running my CNC at max capacity, I decided to save money by opting for a converter rated only 30% above my mill's horsepower. Installing the rotary converter was straightforward. I hired an electrician, but having installed two others myself before, I can say it's a simple process if you follow the instructions. However, American Rotary could improve their manual with clear step-by-step -step instructions and color photos. The black and white manual was lacking. Installation required a 50 amp circuit breaker, a wall plug, and some 10-4 wire to connect the converter to the mill. The electrician completed the job in about one and a half hours. The most challenging part was wiring the motor to the control box, where the documentation was sufficient, but could have been clear. There's a lot of conflicting information about the right rotary converter rating for a 15 horsepower machine. Since I primarily use my mill for prototyping in short runs, with loads far below the machine's capacity, I chose a 20 horsepower converter. So far, it runs flawlessly, and based on voltage drop tests, I don't expect any issues. I measured the noise level using a decibel meter from Amazon. In my shop, the background with the air conditioner running measured about 46 decibels. With a rotary converter, it measured approximately 70 decibels. Having a conversation nearby was relatively easy, and I describe it as fairly quiet for what it is. To measure the voltage between the legs, I hooked three multimeters up to measure the delta between each of the phases on the rotary converter. I then powered the machine on and ramped the spindle between 250 and 1000 RPM while jogging the axes. I saw little to no voltage change, indicating that at least at very low loads, the rotary converter can handle the machine just fine. 